Hello there, welcome to Grade My Triple One Nine. This is the show where you send me your essays and I will grade them based on SPM Triple One Nine standards together with you on YouTube. So you can see where you are and where you can improve. Look at this video quality, it's tip top. You can see all the pimples. Okay, I don't have pimples on my flawless face, but you can see a lot of detail. Now, this camera is sponsored by Canon, and it's the M200 camera, which I am using as a webcam on my computer with simply just a USB cable. If you want to look professional in your video conferences, in your online lessons, or on YouTube, check out this camera today we have an essay from smk convent m bukit Murtajam. the topic of this essay is oh it's a past year question from spm 2012 should parents give children more freedom discuss now it's always good to practice with past year questions and i'm so glad that this person sent me this essay you will get some very valuable feedback this person has not met the 350 word requirement so we'll see we'll see whether this essay has enough quality to allow this to slide let's take a look freedom is a type of expression where everyone wishes to have especially children it's a type of expression that everyone wishes to have especially children it is when you can do everything you fall in love and find your true self hmm. no it is when you can do everything you uh, everything this <laughs> i think anything would be better you can do anything Everything means that you, you have the ability to do everything. You're a really capable person. If you can do anything, that means you have the freedom to do anything. Okay. So when you can do anything, you fall in love and find your true self. It's kind of... <laughs> I'm kind of frowning here because it, you have to explain, okay, like how this takes place. So, when I read this, I'm like, huh? What's the connection? You, you can do anything, you find your true self. Okay, that kind of makes sense, but you fall in love? You got to do some explaining there. In my opinion, parents should give children more freedom. So, children will not be able to face depression and start to lose themselves. Okay, so children will not face depression and start to lose themselves. There are so many reasons why children need freedom. What are they? I feel like this question is very much redundant. So what you can do is, I mean, if you want to have a rhetorical question in your uh, last sentence of your first paragraph, then you should turn this sentence here into a question. What are the Many reasons why children need freedom. Ding dong. Okay, then you don't need this. One of the reasons is children will be able to decide their choices. Do you mean make their own choices? Yeah, that would be better. Right, make they can decide on their own rather than have someone else do it for them, like a parent. What I mean is that children can be able to decide. Children, no, you don't need this. Children can decide what they actually want. For example, parents should support them when deciding a career, when deciding on a career when who is deciding when they are on a career as long as they are uh, uh, as long as they are 
they are on cloud nine for the rest of their lives. I don't get it. Like L. Frank Baum said, all in all this world, there is nothing so beautiful as a happy child. You put the full stop inside of the uh, ears. Okay, so you're going to use like, you got a comma here and a small lower cap L there. <laughs> okay, I, I have a problem with this part here. Okay, so I feel that Parent, okay, for example, parents should support them when they are deciding on a career. So a as a result of that, they would be on cloud nine for the rest of their lives. This would put them on cloud nine for the rest of their lives so i want to comment on this paragraph here um the point or the argument is not convincing so if uh if you're not used to writing an argumentative or this kind of essay I suggest that you, in SPM you focus on writing stories because stories are very much easier to score. But if you want to practice with this this kind of topic, this kind of genre, yeah, by all means, go ahead and send me those essays so I can take a look at them. Next, children will be able to survive social life. Social life is not like an evil thing that you have to survive, right? Develop a social life. If parents never let their children go outside of the house or get involved in social activities, children will never be able to improve their social skills in the present or in the future. For example, instead of giving education to children with homeschooling, Ooh, taking a dig at homeschooling parents. Parents should send them to public schools where they can make new friends and improve their communication skills. Okay, yeah, I like the contrast here. It's, uh, it's more convincing than the previous paragraph. Better argument. Because you have uh, comparisons happening. But you stop too early. Keep developing. Yeah, keep pushing your point. I think um, when you get to SPM level writing, it's it's not about breath, as in like, okay, in this essay, I want to have a hundred points. Boo! No, it's about I have two points and I'm going to really dig deep and I'm going to really explain and help you to understand why this is my stand. Even though I only have two points, I go deep, I go deep, I go deep. And it's harder to go deep than it is to go wide. So if you go deep, that shows that you are mature, one, and that shows that you have a higher level of language ability as well. Yeah, because you're able to talk about the same thing in different ways. And so this is what I recommend for people who want to take this kind of essay. You need to be able to go deep rather than go wide. So this is a better paragraph, but you stop too early. You got to go deeper. Finish him. Finish off that point. Don't leave the point hanging. Furthermore, freedom shows that children take more responsibilities. Freedom allows children to take on more responsibilities. For example, when parents give them money, they know that their children will use that money wisely and not use it and not take it for granted. That's a good saying. Children also have responsibilities for other people, such as taking care of their parents when they are old, or studying hard in school and getting 
a job in order to support support who <laughs> themselves okay how does this relate to freedom once again you stop too early you got to go deep with your points hence these are the reasons why parents should give their children freedom parents should also be aware that they should not be giving too much freedom to the children because children may take the freedom for granted like Albert Hubbard said freedom cannot be bestowed it must be achieved period here it's a bit awkward okay stop too early again how how does this happen how do children take it for granted and also how do they balance I mean if you want to counter argue in your last paragraph you have to uh, explain like you know where where are the limits of freedom and you know what do parents need to do to make sure that their kids don't take freedom for granted you did not do that in this uh, concluding paragraph which leaves your point hanging coming back to what i said earlier on that's why you have to write at least 350 words the words are like meat you want more words so that you have a meatier argument your argument has more meat to it yum 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 when i read your argument but what is happening in this essay is too often um, the points are not well developed so uh, it's a missed opportunity actually and i hope this becomes a learning point for you looking at this essay what do you think is an appropriate grade for it you can pull out your trusty rubrics and uh, use it to judge if you want to go for a b or c you have to have good solid points unfortunately this example does not have therefore i don't think this essay qualifies for an a or a b or even a C. I might give it a high E, mainly because it lacks meat to it. The arguments are not adequate enough, which is why I recommend for this student, focus on writing stories for SPM. I believe you have the skills to score with stories, but not so much for factual essays. Let me know what you think. Do you disagree with my judgment? <laughs> if you do, let me know in the comments. I'm open to hearing what you have to say. That's the end of it. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to send me your essay to be graded on YouTube, send me an email to this address. If you like content like this, you feel that this has helped you become a better writer and you want more of this, like and subscribe to let me know that this is something useful to you and you want to see more. Until next time, bye-bye!